sometimes tucking in our shirt doesn't work as well as we hoped for, especially when tucking in an oversized shirt as they can be quite tricky and end up looking messy instead of put together. That is why on today's video, I am going to show you different ways you can tuck in your shirt to get the perfect look, if just tucking it in doesn't quite work for you. Let's start with the seamless tuck. This way of tucking in your shirt is perfect for those days when you are wearing pants that are too light or too thin and always show whatever is underneath. All you need to do is to tuck the front pieces of your shirt in the bottom of your bra. But remember to tuck in the opposite side. After you have tucked in both sides, just play with it in front of the mirror until it looks flat and good to you. For the back, fold the shirt inside and tuck the tail of the shirt inside the back of your bra to keep it from falling. And again, play with the shape of the shirt until it looks as you like. Once everything looks good, you're going to have a perfect tucked in shirt that leaves no bumps under your trousers and no print showing through the fabric. Now let's move on to the full tuck alternative. This is for you if you feel that a full tuck is too much and makes you feel uncomfortable and you want more room. All you need to do is start by doing a regular tucking. Try to keep the fabric very flat to the skin and you can direct each side of the shirt to each leg so you feel more comfortable. Once the full tuck is done, you want to start by pulling out a little bit of your shirt in the front to create a pouch. This will give you more room and then pull out completely the back of your shirt and just tuck in the tail of the shirt, play with the shape until you have a straight line in the back and some sort of triangle in the front, almost like a French tuck. Always, always roll up your sleeves with this kind of tuck, it will help you look more put together and this way you can tuck in your shirt without being so tight and having some extra space to move. I have showed you in other videos how to do a half tuck, but if you haven't been able to achieve the perfect look with it, let me show you a different but super simple approach that might help you. Unbutton your shirt and tuck the bottom of your shirt into the bra. This time, tuck in the side that has the buttons and do it in the same side. Once it's tucked in, just button up your shirt again until you reach the pants and play with the front of the shirt until it looks nice. Tuck the bottom side of the shirt in the back to help it hold a nice shape all around. Finish the look with a belt and a blazer to get a more put together look and I love to make sure that the half I tucked in is sitting nicely behind the buckle of my belt. Let's continue now with this super oversized tuck. Sometimes shirts have too much fabric and they look sloppy when you tuck them in. Hold the back of your shirt in both sides in the back and then bring them together in the center leaving the extra fabric inside. Hold everything tight with an elastic underneath the shirt and then tuck your shirt as you'd normally do. You will see how the extra fabric disappears and you're not going to have those extra pieces of fabric in the side and the fabric is going to sit nicely in a V shape in the back. I always like to roll up my sleeves when I'm wearing a shirt. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao!